Hi guys, this is Ratchet's Raw, and we are playing Criminal Case Conspiracy Case 10, The Bloom of Doom. Let's unlock on Shaking Ground number 4, and we are gonna focus more on Zoe Kusama's disappearance. Continue, we need to get back to the search for my girlfriend Zoe. That's right. I think there's another lead we could follow, and... Now, Joe's read what the chief said. You can't work the investigation on Zoe's disappearance. A clear conflict of interest. What? You can't. I didn't know that. So I'm supposed to just sit back and twiddle my thumbs while my girlfriend's missing? Of course not, you're supposed to talk to Katria so we can investigate for you. Excuse me, Katria, you have a moment. I'd like to discuss one of the suspects for investigation. Is it about Mira Cat? Okay, Katria, maybe you'd like to talk to Gabriel first. I'll let you decide. Okay. We just got you on our suspect list, Jones. And I think Gabriel wants me to talk about Mira Cass. She's since she's a bit of she doesn't show any sign of empathy, so hold ya. Get the I'm concerned about this Mira Cat person. She shows all the classic signs of psychopathy, from an obsession with fate to an opportunistic predation of tragedy and a complete lack of empathy. According to what she told you when your last question, because she has another project brewing. I haven't really worried about what that project might be. I know she had a show at Galleria di Valeria. I want to look at what's left of that expert to get a better picture of what her next move is. Would you be willing to escort me to the gallery and take a look? Sure, dude. Yeah, I don't like her behavior. I think that's what else we are going to investigate about her. And what she's going to plan here. Jones, I understand that it's hard to just sit on the sidelines while we look for Zoe. I really just don't understand what could have happened to her. She was a harmless social worker. What could she have gotten into? Maybe it has something to do with what she was working on. Do you know anything about her last social working case? Yes, she was looking into Trey Warner, one of her social cases who went missing after he visited JJJ Junkyard. Oh! Then a few days later, Zoe apparently climbed into a black car and disappeared. But you know that already. Yes, I know it. Good point, Katia. The person Zoe was looking for was last seen at JJJ Junkyard. It would be smart to head over there and have a look around. Don't you worry, Jones. You're bound to get a lead soon. Yeah. Might have something to do with Jackson Jackson. Yeah, I already didn't like uh, the look in his face, how he looks like. He looks like a dangerous guy, so... Is still going to still have something to do with the disappearance? We'll see about it. Alright, before that, let's investigate the art gallery again. Find out more what Mira is planning. A stroller? Wait, full of what? What is that? Coal? I don't know, something met some metallic pieces. Despite my misgivings about Mera Kera, I admit that I find the toy stroll full of concrete chunks to be quite moving. It depicts a loss of innocence after the earthquake. I only hope that this concrete wasn't from any of the past quake rubble, but knowing what we know, Miss Cat. But you say that there may be something hidden in among the concrete in that stroller. Please, have a look. There always is something hidden and I find it every time. Not to brag. To you. Okay, now before that, let's escape the jockey. Let's see if there's something fishy there. How do you look like you? Avatar looks like you are going to visit some beehives. Is that it? I'm just kidding. Don't worry. Friendship bracelet, oh. Interesting. Who the fuck is the nest? Oh, there. In the tire.
This junkyard is worse than that extreme collector's TV show. Ugh. But you did find something that Breeze has got the additions TW, like Trey Warner. We know he was last seen in this junkyard, this Breeze could help us understand what happened to him. Has something on it. It smells kind of like that goo people put on their chests when they have a cold. Oh no, oh no, you shouldn't have smelled that. No. Whoa, uh, that was strange. Better get a sample of that goo for the lab. I think it may be a narcotic. Oh, who told you to smell it? I didn't say anything. I, I'm quiet. You do all the talking. Okay, let's now search through the stroller. Or through just concrete. Oh, I see something. I see something. It's a roll of film. We'll see what it is. Okay, I found a roll of film underneath all the concrete chunks in the stroller. I don't think that was part of the installation. When these pictures were taken by Mira, they made us more about our plans. Let's head out to Catty. Okay. Something good or something bad? I think something bad is going to be. Alright, now the friendship bracelet. Maybe that drug or something was used to knock someone out. Maybe that's how... How Zoe disappeared. Maybe she was... Maybe that narcotic made her pass down and that's how she got into the black car. Maybe, I'm not so sure. Good job getting us out of that goop from Bracelet Katia. Let's get to Rupert. I just hope you gotta stay fine after uh, sniffing it. Okay, six hours. Let's now see what Mira was working on. Hey Katia, Phil Rodney Steffi was full of some disturbing images. Again. Looks like Mira can't want well anything to stop her art. Not even an earthquake. We see how opportunistic she can be through her earlier painting. How bad are the photos? Oh. Bad, there are mostly people stuck under the post quake rubble. There's one with a hand reaching out for help, and don't worry, Katia, you need to go further. You don't need to say anymore. This group of Miss Kelly tends to keep on using this human tragedy as fodder for her art, regardless of people's trauma. We must speak with her at once. Ah, oh, Jesus, why are you doing this? You take picture of people of um person's hand, and instead of helping it, you just take picture. Wow. Let's see now, what's this goop about? Is it a drug? Well, it is some narcotic. Hello, Katia. Good job of collecting that stuff from the bracelet. It could have been quite dangerous. Well, she snuffed it, so what's going to happen? So that goop really was a narcotic? No matter why I felt all weird and woozy when I touched it. You didn't touch it, you smelled it. Well, I was certainly the stuff in question has powerful sedative properties. And not all the sort of person used to get a good night's sleep. Cruelly so intended to render Trey water unconscious not long before he disappeared. In fact, I found twice the dose of the drug Hyacinth for a heaviest adult male in the carrying agent. Wait, if someone wanted to knock out Trey water with this setting, his disappearance could have been a kidnapping. As Zoe was investigating his disappearance, what if she saw something she shouldn't have? What if she was kidnapped too? Well, it's not good news by a long shot, but it's something. We better let Jones know. Yeah, he needs to know that. Not good. Well, it makes sense. Uh, she disappeared and she must have been kidnapped. Okay, first, Mera! You are, you are, I don't know what to say. Miss Cat, we found your film role. How many groups of pieces of art do you intend to create of, out of this tragedy? Huh? I knew I had to use two rolls. I was wondering what the other role film was. You mean that there are more photos like the ones we found? So what if there are two or twenty rolls it's all for the sake of art? I drew from real tragedy. More like for the sake of your own career. Did you even stop to think of what people hurt by earthquake might feel like seeing those pictures? A girl's gotta eat. All of these photos will feed into my next big work. My promotional materials are almost ready at the art store. Sorry. I gotta take this call. Oh, come on! I am convinced that more than ever that Miss Cat is a very dangerous person. If any of the photos she took are on her promotional material, she could trigger all the earthquake survivors in Grisbury to post-traumatic stress. Yeah, I don't want this. 
You're right, she eventually got promotion, so material was at the art store. We need to go there before she can retrieve it. But can we grab a burger on the way? I'm famished. Sure. Yeah, I don't like where this is going. She... She's a bit crazy. Well. You see that to yourself. Josie may have a lead on Zoe, but it's not the best news. Trey Warner, a man whose disappearance Zoe was investigated, we found evidence that suggests he was kidnapped. And we are afraid that when she looked into Zoe, may have been kidnapped too. Kidnapped? I wasted so many weeks thinking she'd gotten into an accident, checking morgues and hostels for a sign of her. At one point, I even told myself she'd just left me. By the time I realized Zoe's disappearance might be a criminal matter, it felt like all the leads had already gone cold. Maybe Zoe was cutting a bit to rescue her, Katia. Yeah, instead, I let her down. What if... What if she's... Oh, come on! She's not dead yet. Stop right there, Jules. We'll find Zoe. Alive. Hope you're right. When I think I wanted to buy art, this is no time for home decorating. Here, Katia. That's all the body I have. Let's put it to good use, getting Zoe back home. Okay. So she was kidnapped, and the kidnapper is going to be one of the suspects we interrogated in those few cases here in Money Mile, right? We'll see about that. Okay, now let's investigate the art supplies again. Let's find out more creepy photos that Mira has taken. No post-traumatic stress. No. We don't want that. I think she needs a psychiatrist immediately. And I say immediately because she's sick and crazy. We seem to have beat Mira to the art store. Good. This box has her name on it. This must be her promotional materials. Let's get this box unlocked to check. Okay. Let's unlock this. Box. Let's see what other creepy, take creepy pictures you've taken. What's that? <clears throat> Perfect, got Mira's box of promotional materials open. I'm not sure what the dragon blowing fire on Mira is supposed to represent, but at least there's no image of the earthquake on this poster. That's such a relief. But you're right, the poster says that Miss Scott's next big show is sponsored by Megu Hashira. I wonder if this article that knows who she's associated with, what type of person she's supporting. Yeah, I don't like her. I think she's a bit creepy. We better go warn Megu Kashira about this show. Okay. You don't know how, what she can do. Unless she supports her. Megu Kashira, Sasha Katia and I have come to express our concerns about Mira Cat. We believe that she's a dangerous person. Oh, come on! She's not as bad as all that. You must see her behavior through the lens of art. Let's so far, come on! But she has photographed people trapped under earthquake rubble without the slightest concern for their well-being. I assure that she helped them as soon as she was done. Well, maybe not the dead ones. Oh, she did that. I don't think she did. Anyway, I have great hopes for Mira. She will go far with the right financial backing that I wanted on the ground floor. You need to lighten up your outlook, Sarge Katia. Think outside the box. Here, try this. No! She's a dangerous person. Poor Jones, I can't imagine how she, he must feel finding new leads on his girlfriend only to get told she might have been kidnapped. Of course, it's mostly conjecture at this point, but still it doesn't look good. Meanwhile, we better keep an eye on that mirror cat. She's a bad egg. Seems that we have a lot of things to look out for, Katria. Something tells me that we are not out of the woods yet. Ah, oh, that's it. No cliffhanger. Nothing. Okay. And who's that supposed to be? Okay, let's unlock it. Okay, oh, number 11. Only two more cases left in Money Mile. Alright, 
we're gonna start. Here we go. Team play case number 11 in Body Mile. So, thank for watch. Don't forget to like this video. And I'll see you again. Goodbye. Yeah.